sword of shotguns and Lima revolver with a shotgun shell. They are shotguns too, right? Or maybe they are worse than the regular shotguns in this game. Today we're gonna test these two weapons, find out damage, fire rate and the most important parameter for shotgun – effective range. Also I will share some impressions from a practical use of these weapons. Let's begin with testing the fire rate and sword of ghost first. I hope I'm pronouncing the name of this weapon correctly. Anyway, it has four bullets and and it took 0.6 seconds to make four shots. And to be honest, I'm impressed. I couldn't even imagine that it can be so fast. That's what she said. <laughs> It also takes 1.8 seconds to fully reload them, but who cares, I repeat, 0.6 seconds per 4 shots. And I can remind you that for a double barreled shotgun it takes the same time to make 2 shots. And for the semi-automatic shotgun, which is the fastest shotgun amongst this big shotgun, it takes 2.4 seconds to make 5 shots. And probably that's why I'm using sort of shotguns in most of my practical builds, it's a spoiler. Anyway, let's test the Lema revolver with a shotgun mode now. It has only two bullets and let's take a look. 0.37 seconds to make two shots, which is kinda impressive too. And it's not even the hip fire rate, it's a fire rate when you aim it. But reload takes a while for them, 1.9 seconds. Now let's check final reticle bloom on this pretty effective small range for these weapons and compare it to the double barreled shotgun as you can see me doing now. We're gonna aim at this black wall with all these weapons and then compare the final aiming area. As always all the weapons are clean and have the maximum familiarity. So now you can see the result. In the left corner it's a result for double barrel, mid it's sold off and the right one is the Lima revolver. And as you can see both Sword of and Lima are losing in this parameter even to the double barreled shotgun and I'm saying even because as you can remember from the shotgun testing video double barreled is not having the best reticle bloom and if you haven't seen this video go check it link in the description below. Let's check the damage now and as always lock on range, cleaning weapons between the shots and our target doesn't use any defensive abilities. Testing sold off first and this time we're gonna use dead eye because with dead eye painted black ability card there is less deviation in the result and you see the damage and I'm gonna repeat this test three times because you know damage for shotguns is pretty random but which is kinda weird for sold off this deviation is not that big. Yes, it's not always the same, but it's pretty much the same on any shot. And it's smaller than for any of the shotguns we tested before, any of the big shotguns. Something interesting, for the sort of shotguns lock on range is the same that for uh, regular shotguns. But if we are using Lima revolver even with the shotgun shell, we are having higher lock on range because we are having the same lock on range than for the revolvers. You can see from this distance where I can lock on target with using Lima plus shotgun shell, I cannot do the same with the sword of shotguns. You might say that it's not important because from this range probably it's gonna deal no damage and that's true, but as we know for all the shotguns with the regular shells from the lock on range headshots are killing with one shot if we are using painted black. We're gonna test this later. And now let's see the damage for a shotgun shell with Lema revolver on the shotgun lock on range. We are shooting to the body, you see the result, let's compare it to the sword of shotguns. As you can see it deals a little less damage, which is not super important, but still. Let's check it one more time. Yeah, it definitely deals less damage than the sword of shotgun, 
But of course from this range we would rather go for a headshot and which is kinda interesting, Lima revolver even with a shotgun shell, even from the revolver lock on range with painted black of course, is killing with the one headshot only. While the sword off on this range even with painted black is literally doing no damage even with a headshot. Because you know, headshots is a function of the lock-on range at some point. Because as you can see, on the shotgun lock-on range, sword off is killing with one headshot only. Let's check the effective distance from which these weapons are killing with one body shot. We are gonna try at the 15 steps range, because it's a range from which any big shotgun is killing with one clear body shot. Lama goes first and we shoot into the body, not even close. Sword off is probably also not gonna one shot kill, because it has even bigger reticle bloom and as you can see it deals more damage, but the damage on this distance is extremely random for shotguns and it is a one body shot kills or it does like random amount of damage. Let's try closer distance, now it's 13 steps to the target, we are shooting with body shot, again not a one shot kill. Sword of shotgun now, again 13 steps, shooting to the body and as you can see again it's not a one shot kill and damage is pretty random. Using painted black changes nothing just like for pretty much any other shotgun, again 13 steps, body shot we're not killing. After testing for a while we found out that for both these weapons there is a 12 steps rule. From 12 steps is 1 kills to the body with or without painted black pretty much always and from even 13 step it doesn't. For a bigger shotgun it's a 15 steps rule. So as you can see the effective range on which you can use this one handed shotgun is much smaller. Since we're testing the damage let's take a look at the slug damage for a sword of shotguns, because you cannot use slugs for a Lema revolver and compare it to the other shotguns damage with the slugs on the same distance. You can see the damage, let's compare it to double barreled shotgun and it definitely deals less damage, but not too much. By the way, if you enjoy this type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. No damn time for you. It was some hater. One more interesting fact about using slugs with a sword of shotguns. Take a look at the final reticle bloom. At the left side of the screen you can see the final aiming area for a sword of and just compare it to the reticle bloom for a double barreled shotgun. It's the same range, lock on range, you see the difference. So I'm not pretty sure where the sword of shotguns are any good on this distance, even with slugs without painted black at least. Actually we found out that even on a close ranges you would rather use painted black with sword of shotguns because it's super effective, it's extremely effective and it doesn't matter whether you are playing with auto aiming or with the mouse and a keyboard, it's still extremely good. And if the distance is greater than 12 steps you still can go for a headshot with sword of shotguns and regular shells, it's still gonna be kinda effective. Under my video about the maximum defensive build against maximum aggressive build I saw a comment and people were saying like but in a closer range sword of shotguns will crush maximum defense mode but as you can see it's not actually true. Now my opponent is using maximum defense build, go check that video if you are interested and it's not so easy to kinda kill him. And we have repeated the same test with a much slower fire rate and still this defense is good enough against paired sword of shotguns even on the close distance. As you can see it takes a lot of shots to actually kill someone in this defensive mode. Gunslinger's choice ability doesn't seem to add much accuracy to your double shotguns, at least as you can see it's still not a one shot body kill from a 13 steps distance with this ability. 
let's talk about some practical impressions of PvP and PvE. First of all, I don't recommend you to use Lema revolver with the shotgun mode. You only can switch your settings, so when you out of regular ammo, you will automatically switch to a shotgun ammo. Just make sure that you have this option turned to be on. It's automatic pin switching in a settings, and each time you're gonna be running out of ammo, you will automatically switch to a shotgun without pressing a button, without going for reload. And you can see me testing now, you see when I'm out of ammo, it just turns off the shotgun mode. It's pretty useful in PvE, also useful in PvP, but to be honest, I'm not using Lima revolvers in PvP too much, because there are better choices in pretty much any build. But it's a great weapon for PvE. There is a different story in a sort of shotguns. If you have been watching my videos about the painted black builds, about the slippery bastard builds, you can see that I'm using this weapon pretty much anywhere. PvP, PvE, auto aiming, mouse and a keyboard, it's good for anything. In my video about the shotguns, I said that semi-automatic shotgun is the best choice in my opinion, but that's because I was talking about big two-handed shotguns, and it's a different weapon category in my opinion than one-handed weapons. I have to admit that PvP Cup is doing very great videos on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Anyway, I don't think that sort of shotguns is necessarily better than the semi-automatic shotguns. They have smaller range, they have less bullets, but unlike semi-automatic shotgun or any other big shotgun, they are not taking the important slot. Slot in which you can use bow as a secondary weapon or maybe carcano rifle just to go with a rolling block rifle as the main weapon and to cover this mid close ranges and that's why in pretty much all of my builds lately i'm using double sword of shotguns and when i need to fight on these closer distances i have a great solution because they are extremely effective doesn't matter which ability card you are using for example they are really good in a slippery bastard because four bullets is more than enough to make a kill on the closer distances and as well they are effective against slippery bastard so that's my opinion. I enjoy this weapon a lot with my builds that I'm using with my playing style and I use them pretty much anywhere. Let me know what do you think about this weapon, whether you agree with my conclusion and as always I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. See ya, goodbye.